Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about frequently asked questions. Now this is something that comes from teachers and clients alike, and it's why do the legs cramp up so much in bridge? Well, there's tons of different reasons why people's legs will do this. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's both. Um, it just depends, and usually what I tell clients is that this is common, and that after a few bridges, their legs react a little bit differently. It's almost like they get jolted awake because they're not used to moving from their hamstrings through space, right? So uh, things that you can do to help mitigate the chances of cramping before you go into bridge are many. You've seen us do a ton of release work already on these videos, the green spiky ball up against the wall, the hip point releases, um, on the foam roller and on the tennis ball and green spiky ball. The other thing is opening up the feet. We've done that a few times with the green spiky ball. So all of those are a wonderful way to get the tissue moving, to get the connective tissue really humming and warm and get the circulation going before you ask a lot from the musculature. Because we have to remember that we can't think with the scalpel when it comes to our bodies, that we're all one piece of connective tissue. So we have to take care of all all the other partners that help the hamstring to work so that it has balance and ease in the movement. So we'll show you something that might be a nice little add-on to do with your clients before bridge. So foam roller is a really nice way to do it. Um, we're going to start with rolling out the hamstrings actually. So Jen, go ahead and place the legs on top of the roller and she's going to be holding her body weight here and go ahead and start rolling up and down the length of the leg. Now, some people, this might be enough, right? Where, you know, both legs on the foam roller, they might be, you know, sore here. But you could also cross one leg over the other to put a little bit more pressure on, right? And so, you know, Jen has really good shoulder girdle stabilization. Her wrists are nice and strong, but for some of your clients that might have a, a harder time doing this, you might have to do tennis ball release on the back of the hamstring. I mean, there's varying things uh, that you can do to open up or up against the wall to get the glutes going. But if they can do this work through their upper body and in their wrists, this is a really good idea. Now, Jen, I want you to compare and contrast the tension in each leg, mm -hmm. right? And so already getting your clients to think about, even here, the balance of the two sides, because we want our legs to send the same mes message of work into the pelvis and eventually into the spine. Very good. So let's go ahead and have you set yourself down. We'll take the foam roller out. So we just got the blood going. And now, Jen, go ahead and lay down on your back. And we're going to do a little bit of bridge work here. So what I want to have Jen do, you know, secondary to that little bit of release work, is we're not going to bring her right up into bridge. Chances are, she really might cramp. So let's ease her into this, right? So Jen, what I want you to do is find your feet sitting bone distance apart, a little bit of a heel sway, and also the other thing you have to realize is that people walk in their own unique alignment that we're always trying to fine tune and hone, and then all of a sudden, we put their feet even and put them into parallel and then ask them to lift the weight of their body. That is also gonna make them cramp because they're not using, used to using this set of musculature. So Jen, let's have you just hover your pelvis like an inch and a half off the mat. And here, we're just waking up the body, and I want you to find equal weight into each foot. Yes, very good. And so, go ahead and rest down. You might want to do this just a few times, just a hinge of the pelvis. Mm-hmm. And just seeing where you're at. Now, even here, without lifting the pelvis up anymore, can you reach your long leg bones over your feet? Ah, very good and then go ahead and rest the pelvis down. So you can even build and layer cueing on this little bit of a pelvic lift so when they're ready to go up into full bridge, they have all of the cues in their body. They found it in an easier place to obtain it, and then we can see where our true range is in the body. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon.